Hey everybody, I'm Steve Beliscus with Mount Comfort RV. Today what I want to go over with you is not on one particular unit, but what I want to talk about is the construction of the Somerset pop-up camper made by Columbia Northwest, the same people that made the original A-frame, the A-liner. Extremely high quality stuff here, something you're going to see on very few, if any other pop-up. <laughs> Let's start out with the top of it, okay? Because with you know with RVs, everything starts out with the roof. One thing to notice, the best thing about it in my opinion with the Somerset, one piece aluminum roof. Not glass, you know, not fiberglass, not rubber for sure, but aluminum. Prevo buses use aluminum, folks. That's what we're talking about here. This is one piece bent down in the front, bent down in the back, the sides as well, and then it's capped right here. All right, so when you talk about your roof, what do you gotta check? You just gotta check the caulk here. That's it. If you wanna put an air conditioner on there, we'll go over that inside where we can see a little bit more of the supports, but Columbia Northwest makes a specific air conditioner kit that's nearly impossible to leak. And even if it Italy, guys, this has aluminum, steel framework, polystyrene, and then ASDA, which is a composite material that's impervious to water. So this roof, what's water gonna do to it? Nothing. And if you've seen RVs, or especially pop-ups before, you know a lot of the issues come with leaking roofs and canvas materials. But, how many times have you seen the front of your RVs all dented up? Even the ones that have the rock guards, because a lot of that's just plastic anyway. It just kind of looks like this. What this is, folks, is .060 aluminum front panels. This is a true rock guard, 60 thousandths of an inch. Actually, twice as thick as that metal roof up front, this aluminum roof. So stuff's going to hit this, it's not going to mess with it. And you've got the same exact thing on the back. It's wonderful. It's very well made. Take a look at the frame. Next time you're going to look at pop-ups, see how big the frame is on them. You would be amazed at how many are using 6-inch tubular, not C-channel. Tubular gives you more strength, and a 6-inch is what you see on the big heavy travel trailers. This thing is built stout. 6-inch, fully tubular, um, fully powder-coated frame. Try to find that on another pop-up. It'll be very, very difficult. Let me go in front of you, please, and let's move around the side. All right. High quality scissor jacks underneath. Are they better than the other ones? Yeah, I don't think so, but they sure look great. That's one thing. Now, take a look at the side. On your, on your higher end pop-ups, what do you see a lot? You see laminated sidewalls. Well, what's lamination? Rolled fiberglass on top of an eighth inch Luon board with polystyrene underneath, and then a uh, wall board in, in the interior sometimes. Well, that wood in there can rot. And why do you need laminated styrofoam if you've got canvas siding, it's not going to do any more for insulation value down here, folks. Nothing at all. What you've got here is 0 .040, 40 thousandths of an inch, galvanized steel body panels. Dead air space behind it, so you're not taking up weight with it. It's built stout, impervious to water. Leaks aren't going to mess with this at all. Wonderful stuff. It's the way it should be done. Outside speakers, that's, you know, a lot of people have that. That's just outside speakers. We're talking about construction. We do have the Evolution Series, what we're looking at now in the Somersets. There's the Utah, the Grand Mesa. Uh, I'm having a brain freeze what the other one is. But the bottom line is there's some other feature differences, but the one you notice immediately when you step out, you got 15-inch tires and the raised uh, off-road platform for the Evolution Series. We're going around to the back. And I just wanted to show you 60 thousandths of an inch aluminum rock guard in the back as well along with your spare tire folks now what we're going to do is we're going to raise the somerset camper electronically you can do it manually you just uh, stick your ratchet in there they give you and just start twisting if you ever have any electrical malfunctions so you do have an override the bottom line you got this plug it into here your connector and then you can take it off at night time you don't need to leave it plugged back in here but and this is really hard to tell. I'm going to talk why we're doing this. If you've ever heard a regular pop-up that's power go up and down, it sounds like a garbage disposal. Um, this is a little bit different setup. I'm talking to you now why it's going on. Sure, some of the mic isn't picking all of it up, but it is very quiet, especially compared to a regular pop-up. One of the things I want to talk about as this thing's going up is how they do their posi lock system. There are four independent cables, okay? Stainless steel cables in here, by the way, twice as thick as the regular ones used in pop-ups. All right, but these cables for each riser go back to an independent plate. 
they kind of think of it as a screw head going in and out through that plate, pulling that plate back and forth. What that tells you is if you ever get a cable break in here, which being twice as thick as regular pop-up ones with stainless steel cables, stainless steel pulleys, I don't know how it could happen, but if it ever did, the only thing that's gonna happen is this side's gonna sag a little bit, and that's it. The regular pop-up will go up and down and handle all the weight. So if you're out camping, go get a good stick, cut it to size, prop it up under here, carry on with your trip, or go to Lowe's and get a two by four and then just fix it at your dealer when you get back. It should never happen, but if it did, that whole roof's not gonna come down on you, which is a very big possibility with regular pop-ups, which is why you'll see um, additional like uh, bracing in here is to help with the strength and support in that. And since we're talking about that, let's talk about a couple of things. If you know you've always got this little uh, green or red little, um, I don't know, tubing or wire that's sheathed in plastic on regular pop-ups, so you can make sure it doesn't get too tight and overextend it. Well, this has a limiter switch in it, so it knows when you're at the top. So just hold on to the button, grab a beer, and then when it stops, you're at the top and you don't need to go up any farther, right there. Another great thing that I was talking about, when you have the, um, when you have like the, the protector on the you know regular pop-ups you can put in there for extra strength, well, um, that's because like I said, it doesn't have any type of system in it to stop it from coming up and down if a cable breaks. Well, this has also got a dynamic braking system in it. So if something did happen, it'll stop it no matter what anyways. Your other pop-ups aren't gonna have the limber switch nor the dynamic brake. Not nearly as safe, not nearly as well built. All right, what we're gonna do is pull her out now, which you've seen this before, but this is amazingly simple compared to other pop-ups. This is beefier and stronger, but not nearly as hard to pull out because I've got these very thick aluminum tracks for your beds to go in and out on. Another thing, take a look under here. This is the same Performax 500 flooring that they're using in A-liners. Completely water resistant with this on here. You're not gonna have any water damage or anything under this. And if somehow this should ever cut or get ripped, you can just lock tight it back on there. Wonderful stuff. Now, there's no Velcro on here to go bad. There we go. All right. This is what Somerset likes to call their back saver system. One, you don't have to take the poles out from inside. They're just nicely put on the bottom of your bed. Set the first one in here and leave it. And since we're under here, let's take a look at this additional metal structure under here. This additional bracing allows this bed to hold 1,100 pounds, not the standard 500 or 600 with regular pop-ups. Put three or four kids on these king-size beds, they're not gonna bring it down. You're not gonna have to worry about it. Take out the other one. Set it down in, in the slot. Now, stand up. Now, if anybody ever comes to a Somerset and puts their back into it like a regular pop-up, yell at them and tell them that's not the way to do it. All you gotta do is just put your arms here, lift up a little bit, and she's locked in place. That's it. None of the pain that you had to go into your last pop-ups. Same thing there. Now, what I'm gonna do here, since we're not gonna lower it, I'm gonna show you how to release it. <laughs> to release it, watch my hands, okay? That's it. <laughs> That's as easy as it is, folks. And put it right under there. You are set up and ready to go. Ready to go back, set it there. Give a little bit of a lift. It's locked in. Just one more time. Unlocked. Piece of cake. We're gonna stay locked in, though. All right, folks, now we have our Somerset Evolution E2 set up and ready to go, and there's some points I need to talk to you about that we couldn't when it was closed. First off, you'll notice the carriage wagon look here. If you can see, it's stuck up a little bit there, and I'll go with the poles, but what it does is, if it starts to rain, it really kind of pushes it off to the side, and as you have this up here and how it's slanted back, if you got a good straight down rain, you can still leave this window open pretty far and still get airflow in here instead of having to button everything up. And since we're talking about the size and the canvas, let's talk about this. If you don't know what Sunbrella 302 is, go take a look. On some other pop-ups, you might see Sunbrella right here, just on this side or none at all. But on the Somerset, it's got Sunbrella all the way around it. What that does is it allows it to breathe. Sunbrella will let air go through oxygen, but not water. So it'll lower much, much, much lower the, um, the abilities of it to have condensation like a single wall structure does in the morning. So you have more breathability, little to no condensation. You do have double wall vinyl here because this is where your head and your feet are at 
you know, kicking in the middle of the night, kids, if you're a mover while you sleep, and you want a little bit more extra uh, strength down here, so it's double walled vinyl, this will still let everything breathe, and that's all the way around from the sides of the uh, sleeping area all the way down the tent. Also, as you see, we talked about no Velcro under here, no flaps to worry about underneath. We talked about how most of the structure, all of the structure, excuse me, is riveted and screwed together with no structural wood. And this is the best thing, absolute best thing about it. When I first saw these, it was really the old Coleman campers that used to do it first, but they're not around anymore. This right here, you notice on every other pop-up how your risers are covered. Well, there's two reasons. One, they're not stainless. The water will hurt them. And two, they're bolted usually almost always to the inside of the floor. So if you do get any water in here, it's gonna go right into your camper. And we all know that's bad. So what these are is they are bolted directly beneath to the six inch tubular steel frame. And you can kind of see that right here. And I'm gonna show it to you. So what happens if it does rain, folks? If you take a look at the bottom, it's coming right out through it. It is no big deal. Bolted to the frame, stainless steel risers, stainless steel cables twice as thick as regular pop-ups, stainless steel pulleys, the way everything should be built. All right, you've got an aluminum C-channel here, so you don't have to worry about any of the water getting in under the flaps on regular pop-ups. Go straight down, seamed in here, can't hurt the aluminum, wonderful idea. And it's hard to tell here, but on each side right here where the weight is at, they've got yellow stainless steel bulkheads to support, bolted into the frame as well, to support the rest of the camper. So you can't see it, but it's there making your camper stronger and sturdier. Folks, let's talk about the door. This is one you see while you're going down the road. That one's up inside on the roof, inside the roof. But if you want to unsnap it and put it here, take a look here. See that deadbolt coming out? It goes right into here. You can lock this up while you leave, make it much more difficult if somebody wants to get inside it. I know it's a canvas and a pop-up anyways, but you know, a lot of times it's just how hard are you making their life to get into it and get what they want. Let's go inside. All right, folks, now we're inside Somerset Evolution E2. And like I said on the outside, this is simply going over what makes all Somersets great. Not anything particular on the E2, just awesome build quality. First and foremost, we have some lights. Okay, we got a light on there. This galley does not tumble, so you don't have to worry about taking things out of it and moving faucets and all that junk like uh, most of the others. It's just a swing level galley. You're done. That's it, okay? Now watch this. I'm gonna bring this up, watch that light there. As Soon as I set it down, it, uh, it activates a switch. So if you do forget to turn off your very, very high efficient low heat lights, LED lights, if you do forget to turn them off, as you start to put this away, when it releases on that switch, it's gonna kill all lights inside. So you don't have to worry about it. I don't think LEDs would ever burn anything like the old stuff would, but you're still not wasting energy going down the road. Taking a look at the bed, this is kind of what I called like the covered wagon look out there. I'm not a tall guy, but even our tallest guy in the dealership at 6'7 can sit here oh, and have a great place to sit down, especially for the kids if you have a rainy day, all right? Now these beds are actually very, very large too, 77 by 70, six feet five inches wide. But I could sleep this way. That's how big they are. These are absolutely enormous beds. Four inch high density foam. And this is what I really like. Take a look up here. If you know pop-ups, this is much different than most. Just push this button and it comes down and watch. There's no more crawling over the bed to try to get to this thing. It pulls it down with it. And then just give a little tug and it comes out, put it under your bed and you're done. So no, and once that's down, going and crawling over to the bed, to, I can't even think of the U-shaped piece there to pull it down. It's a piece of cake, nothing to it. No having to worry about adjusting lengths, any of that. It's already preset the way it's supposed to be. One thing that I really, really love here is this one big, huge opening window. And it is humid, it is hot out here in Indiana. Nothing like Central Florida, I got nothing on you guys, but for me, I'm warm. But inside, we've got it down, we got everything cool, we got a nice breeze going, it's wonderful in here. But this is clear canvas, all right? I never understood the concept of having a tinted canvas over your windows, all right? We don't have them up, you can take a look at the brochure, Somerset website, but they give you very high quality curtains here. If you know anybody seeing, draw those curtains. All right, <laughs> if you've ever sat down at a regular pop-up dinette, 
you know how much play you have going back here. It's like your back has nothing sturdy because it just has this board that flops up and down and that's it. It's, it's not very comfortable to sit at. Well, the way Somerset's done this is they've designed a way where you can have a very nice, soft, yet sturdy and supporting back. I'll show you how they've done this. Okay. You got your high density foam um, back piece here. All right. And they do have a hard piece of plywood in here to give you that support, but it all starts with the base. Take a look at this. Stainless steel base in here. If you see these little knobs, set it down in there and push it forward. And then, so that stops this from sliding forward. And then you got your strong, sturdy base and no floppy piece here. Set it nice down right in there. You can sit here and not have to worry about being uncomfortable. Folks, I know it's hard to, you know, if you're not doing it yourself, you, you don't quite understand how pulling a pop-up bed in and out can get a little troublesome. I had a couple, never done a pop-up before, and they did a regular bed pulling it out, and uh, the lady struggled with it, and all well, well, but she was short, didn't have a whole lot of leverage. And I said, well, come over here and look at the Somerset. I know it looks meaner and cooler, but uh, it's a lot easier to pull out. And a lot of it is with this these uh, very large glides right here move the bed in and out so uh, it's nothing you can really see on a video you really got to see a or do it yourself to see how nice and easy these beds slide out taking a look up top you know I talked about one piece aluminum roof polystyrene of course with additional steel bracing around it everything riveted into place and then uh, man-made composite asdel impervious to water so nothing in your roof that's gonna rot but with all that strength they've added more strength take a look what they have here additional metal bracing going east-west along the RV. So you've got three additional east-west bracing to really beefen up the, to the roof to make it a lot better. And if you want us to put an air conditioner in here, you see it's already pre-tapped for one right in here, right between the extra seal supports. So 10 years down the road, this isn't going to be sagging on you. It's going to look just the same it did the day of. Just take care of it, regular RV maintenance, and you're going to have something that's going to last a very long time. So if you're looking for something that's going to sleep a lot of people, give you the outdoor feel, and you need to be under a 3,500 pound gross weight limit, this is it. This is easier, in my opinion, sometimes to deal with in a travel trailer because it does set up so easy. It is so nice and big, and it's made with quality components. A lot of times pop-ups are made the cheapest of the cheap, or it's just flash and trash. Not the case with Somerset. It's got the quality in the build like nothing else out there. So if you're interested, um, I highly advise you to take a look, especially at their brochure that I'm holding up in my hand right there. They do a great job of showing everything on it, like I told you about in the beginning. And uh, really get to your uh, local distributor, your dealer, so you can see and feel how one of these is because you can't quite see quality on a YouTube video. you got to see it firsthand and feel it and touch it and look at it. So I hope you had a good one, and I'll talk to you later.